Hi, I'm Golden Brooks, and I'm here, sitting here with Nicole Bitchy. You know, my goal for Hollywood Divas, my goal just in general for doing a reality show is probably different than the other girls. You know, I was, my life, my career has been very traditional. You know, I've, I've, you know, went to college, went to UC Berkeley, went to Sarah Lawrence, did everything very traditionally, did theater here in New York, and um, started out as a dancer. And everything I've done has been pretty much by the book in terms of my career, being on Girlfriends for almost a decade. You know, and I thought, I, you know, I want to give my fans something more. I want to showcase a little bit more of me. And after Girlfriends was over, I got pregnant and, and had an amazing daughter. And then right after that, did Heart of Dixie. And my career just kind of, it kept going in a, in a great way. I'm very fortunate, I'm very blessed. Um, but I still felt as a black woman and then as a black actress, I still had more to say. And I'm very private. I'm probably one of the only, you know, out of Tracy and Jill and Persia, I'm the only one that didn't do any social media. I just got on social media a month ago. So I thought when this show came about and my manager told me about Hollywood Divas. I was kind of like, oh, reality? I don't know. I mean, I have a master's. I, mean, I don't want people, you know what I mean? It's that whole thing. But I thought, okay, wait a minute, Golden. This could be an opportunity to showcase something different. And this show, the way it was presented to me, was completely different than any other uh, reality show. And I thought this would be a great opportunity to springboard who Golden Brooks is, you know, my flaws, my insecurities, my branding, what I do. And I wanted to be that girl, that African-American girl that, you know, that you can relate to, flaws and all. And it's important to me to feel that I'm connecting to that girl from the Bronx, from Harlem, from South Central. You know, I want to be that everyday girl that's like, you know what? Golden Brooks wakes up some days and feels really unattractive. Or some days she just doesn't want to get out of bed. Or some days it's hard being a single mother. I want to be that girl. And to use the medium of reality to, to showcase my day-to-day -day and to show young women that you're not alone, I thought, why not? So that's one of the main reasons why. Yeah, I mean, some of the insecurities for me as a black woman, I'm, I'm very, one thing I learned about Mara Brocka Kill and working with her for, you know, for almost 10 years, I booked that show at such a young age, you know, pretty much right out of college, right out of here, right out of New York. And it was almost like a baptism by fire. I learned so much about myself, flaws and all. And she taught me, even as a writer and a creator, and being on Girlfriends, that you have to show the flaws. You have to show the insecurities to gain people's trust. It's one reason why Oprah Winfrey is Oprah Winfrey, because she's always stripped herself. So for me, some of my biggest insecurities, um, I mean, I'm very, I'm very honest about, about some of the, you know, I grew up with a mother that I, I didn't look exactly alike. I think every brown-skinned girl, you know, has had at some point that insecurity. And I'm real clear about that. I am so proud of myself now. It took a journey. You know, I have a beautiful chocolate baby girl. I'm raising another generation of chocolate, you know, beautiful little girls. That's important to me. So that, you know, um, but it took time to get into that. And it's one reason why I respect Gabrielle Union so much because she talks about that as well. And, um, and you know, I, I, and it's one reason why I write because I want to see more of that. I want to see more of me. I want to see more brown skin girls in these lead roles, um, and not just brown, but that's that's my my journey and my story. Um, I just think there's so much more to do, and so my insecurity, I think, comes from the fact that I want more for my people and more for my women. And that's why writing is so important to me. You can't just sit back and complain about things that are wrong. And I think this show, Hollywood Divas, empowers me to be able to showcase all those facets and use my insecurities and use my frustrations as a tool to sort of change the condition. I never feel like girlfriends. I never feel like playing that character Maya has boxed me in. Here's the thing about girlfriends, what a lot of people don't understand. In the black community, girlfriends is huge. Okay, and in our homes, we were the longest running, the second longest running African American show next to the Cosbys. And you know, that's huge in our culture. Um, that being said, it was still a show that was big in our community. It wasn't like a Friends, you know, it wasn't the Cosby show. However, for us, it was huge. Now, when I'm going into castings and I'm going into audition for, say, A Heart of Dixie, or I'm going into audition for, um, a show that is quote or the X's on TV Land, which I did. They know of 
girlfriends, but they're not like, oh, that's Golden Brooks who plays Maya. She can only do, oh, hell no. No one thinks that. In my community, in my community, in terms of the African-American community, if I'm auditioning for something in that world, it took a, a minute, but once I start doing films like, you know, I did The Inheritance, I did Polish Bar, I did, a, you know, Motives, I did a slew of independent films that showcase a whole other range for me, which is why I think the independent film is so important for the actor, especially TV actors, to show that, that you know, you have another, another layer. So in terms of feeling trapped or boxed in, no, maybe oh, she's funny, but can she be serious? Yeah, and when I did um, Heart of Dixie and when I did, you know, CSI, people saw those sides. So I think as an actor, you have to be on your agents and your team to really get you those roles that are going to showcase those other colors, no pun intended. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, girl. That is like the question of the, of the decade. Um, I hope so. You know, I can't say, I hope. will there be a Girlfriends movie Maybe. I can't say yes, I can't say no, but you know, Mara, Brock, Akil, myself, Tracy, Jill, uh, Jill, and Reggie, we all pretty much had a sit down about it, but that is a Mara and Kelsey Grammer question, but you never know. I know the fans would love it. I know Girlfriends ended in a way that left the fans wanting more. What happens to Maya? What happens to, you know, Tracy? Yes, I know what happens to Maya. I know about that third book. I know what happens to Joan. Um, yeah, you know, you never know. You never know. I'd be open to it, so we just have to see. There have been talks about it. Um, nothing's been set in stone, but I really hope that it definitely happens because I think the fans deserve it.